Jonathan Lee Riches in Investigates, investigating Ocean Gate. Ocean Gate. Got some cool stuff I want to share with everyone. The OceanGate.com webpage is down, everyone. They took it down for unknown reasons. Why they take it down? Why did they take their webpage down? Why did the submarine company take their webpage down? Submersible. Why they take it down? Ocean fake, Beverly Lawyer says. Look, if you go to their webpage, this is their webpage. They actually took it down. They actually took it down. And it's not up. I don't know why they don't want people to look into them. I believe it was up the other day, but they took it down. But guess what? People don't know about the Wayback Machine. Wayback Machine. The Wayback Machine is a really cool place that archives old web pages. And guess what? We're going to go over their web page from the Wayback Machine. So I put OceanGate.com, and this is their its history. And you can see, boom, in 2021, 2022, and 2023, a lot of activity. But they say a lot on their webpage, and I've been going through it, and I want to share it all with you. This is from 2014. Ocean Gate. Now, before 2014, yeah, the web sh the web page was up a few days ago, but now they took it down. Wonder why they took it down? Hmm, they don't want people prying into their company. They trying to hide something. Why would you take a web page down? Why would it go down? Did they take it down, or did it go down for un other unknown reasons? But the Wayback Machine. If you go to the Wayback Machine www.wayback well actually just google wayback machine and it'll take you to their link you can put in web pages and then it actually has archived it's almost like archive now one thing what i've noticed about this website oceangate.com is before it used to be a real estate company so i'm not even i was going through each one here dates and years now this company was formed sometime around here 2009 and there wasn't no activity in 2010 very limited activity in 2011 12 13 then 14 there started to become activity so you can kind of click on a month and they'll tell you a date here so let's just click here january we're going to click here january of 2014 january 5th and here you go Here's the company, people. OceanGate. It says OceanGate. Our company markets, capabilities, expeditions, and charters. And media center. What are they hiding? If they're hiding anything at all. Who are these people? Like, who are they? Who is OceanGate? Access the ocean's vast resources for research, exploration, and commercial applications using our manned, submersible solutions. Our clients. Let's read the uh, our clients section and see what it says. All right. Our clients. Ocean Gate. OceanGate's client base is built on a wide range of companies and research entities with a singular focus, access to the ocean environment through manned submersibles. Many of our clients are on the leading edge of exploration, research, and discovery programs. Their revolutionary subsea initiatives have been made possible through fully customer, customized submersible solutions developed by the ocean gate team with their individual goals and objectives in mind from sampling collection and documentation to visual imaging 
firm and sonar. Ocean Gate strives meet exceed our clients' expectations. We build meaningful, genu- genuine relationships with our clients and count on these relationships and partnerships to create innovative strategies and approaches for solving deep sea exploration challenges together. Our client partners are the most value, vital aspect of what we do. Below are some of the companies and organizations that have explored the ocean depths with us. And there's a, there's a list of names. These are the people. The Defense Advanced Research Projects Agency, the Monterey Bay National Marine Sanctuary, Miami-Dade County Permitting, Environmental and Regula- Regulatory Affairs. Interesting on that one. University of Washington Applied Physics Lab, University of California, Santa Barbara, Texas A&M, California State University, Catalina Island, the Ocean Gate Foundation, now Explore Ocean. I wonder what that is. They've been changing their names a lot. Seattle Yacht Club, Institute of Nautical Archaeology. National Geographic. So National Geographic worked with OceanGate. Internal studies. We are pioneering professionals who strive to promote discovery while providing unique and inspiring experiences. OceanGate continues to set the standards for innovative man submersible solutions by leveraging existing resources and partnerships. In doing so, we engineer expeditions that offer cost-effective solutions to capture content, deliver images, and expand discovery and reach. This is who their clients are. Now, this is from 2014. And it's showing from our blog some of the things they've done. They took this web page down, people. They took this web page down. Again, for people that are just jumping on, if you go in their web page right there, oceangate.com, they took it down. They took their web page down. I'm able to access this via the Wayback Machine. Let's go back a minute. Let's go back. Commercial. I just want to explore like like they like to they like to explore Oceangate. I'm exploring Oceangate. <laughs> How about that one, right? They like to explore the oceans. Well, let's explore Ocean Gate and see who these people are. Because I think that press conference today, the U.S. Coast Guard was like kind of dumbfounded by their work. Like, how were they able to do this? How were they able to just go over to a wreckage site? Commercial. Commercial. So they're giving you options. Contact Colleen Hahn. I don't know who Colleen Hahn is. Ocean Gate offers oil and gas solutions. Commercial. Not only do we operate the only commercially available submers- submersible that can take up to five personnel on a dive. Ours is the only non-government owned submersible in the continental U.S. designed as an oceanographic research vessel by U.S. Coast Guard. Read more. Let's read on. Who are these people? That's the key here. Who are these people? Ocean Gate's unique ability to integrate emerging technology with a proven dive platform allows us to provide secure, mannered, sub- submersible solutions for the variety of market sectors. Not only do we operate the only commercially available submersible that can take up to 5 person personnel on a dive, ours is the only non-government owned submersible in the continental U.S. designed as an oceanic research vessel by the Coast Guard. For commercial concerns, this means we provide an array of capabilities that will meet and exceed your needs and expectations. 
Our superior viewing platforms and observation task performance systems combined with our capability to operate in low visibility and our unique 3D sonar mapping technology make us the most viable alternative available for a range of needs. Interesting, right? Who are these people? OceanGate's focus on research, development, and development delivers a cost-effective alternative to subsea initiatives. Our solution, our full mobile and able to containerize for rapid global development. Our submersibles do not require large surface vessels for support, which translates to saving a valuable time and resources. Our submersibles are always ready for a dive often with, it, with it as little as 24 hour notice. Finally, we understand that commercial interests require both confidentiality and complete intellectual property freedom. OceanGate is prepared with all the needed legal and contractual authorizations required to grant your company the necessary clearances. So you can be assured that, assured that your security is maintained at the highest levels. What does that mean? They got connections. Somebody said ocean fake. Ocean fake. We have a complete project for a variety of end users data recept rec re receipts, such as Defense Advanced Research Project Aid Agency, DARPA, an agency of the United States Department of Defense, the Office of Naval Research, NOAA, a United States Department of Commerce agency uh, as testament of both to our capabilities and security credentials. So they're name dropping these major organizations. It's so interesting seeing people's websites of, of what they pitch, what they pitch out there. But let's go to their newer. I want to go to their most recent. This was back in 2014. But we saw on my previous live around 2016, 2017, that's when they created this Titan, the same sub that went down and imploded, right? This same sub. But that, that seems like it came in an existence and an invention that they created back in 2016, December 2016 into... February 2000, um, March 2017. But I'm looking at these pages here. Here we go. This is the 2022. Look at this. This is one of the recent, this is the recent web page. Crude submersibles for charter and scientific exploration. Crude submersibles for commercial projects, scientific research, and explorations. Through an innovative use of materials and state-of-the-art technology, OceanGate is developing the next generation five-person submersibles coupled with a patented launch and recovery platform. The deep ocean is now more accessible for human exploration than ever before. I think the truth will come out about these people. I'm sketchy. I'm sketchy about these people. I'll be honest. Because of the lawsuits filed against them and the relatively new, this is new. And it imploded before they even knew what happened, more or less. That's what people are saying. And the Coast Guard today confirmed that it did implode. Uh, the pressure today that took place, it would be hard to find any trace of their bodies, bones, or phones, I'd say. It's pretty much they're gone, right? They're dust. They're ocean dust. But who is this company? Who do they think they are? Someone on my last live said that they uh, did like 36 prior runs down there to the Titanic. 36 prior and they pointed out 
the total of the pressure each and every time, each, each time it went down, 36 times back, 36 times back and forth. Hundreds of thousands of pressure that was on this thing. Was it being maintenanced? Was this little tin can that was 20 feet, I'll call it a tin can, Titan can, was it regulated? Someone said sabotage. Was it self-sabotage? Like, was this, how do we know that this was just, I mean, assuming it was an accident. But was there something more nefarious going on here? But if it was something more ne nefarious, do you think the CEO who was down there with them would be part of this? Or someone else on there? Many motives. Ocean Gate provides crude submersive submersible services research and commercial projects scientific exploration and adventure look they got a picture of the titanic we'll go this one we'll read this one we're gonna see one thing about the wayback machine you gotta click and it takes a minute to come up look at that So interesting. A new frontier of scientific exploration. Ocean Gate offers comprehensive expeditions for a variety of ocean oceanographic missions. Our team of qualified pilots, expedition leaders, mission professionals, and service client to service staff ensure accountability throughout the entire mission. An expedition process with the focus on safety, <laughs> with the focus on safety, right? They they flat out here put a, 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 with the focus on safety, proactive communicate, proactive communication, and client satisfaction. My God, look at these three key words here they use on their webpage, and you tell me if this is a lie or this is the truth. Throughout the entire mission and expedition process with the focus on safety, eh, eh, proactive communication, eh, and client satisfaction, satis satisfy, client satisfaction, satisfaction, I'm sorry. Eh, poor safety, poor communications, poor client sat uh, satisfaction. And I say that because <laughs> you think this thing was safe? Nope. You think they had proactive communication? Um, they didn't correspond with people back and forth. What was it via text on a delay? You thought that was uh, you think that was proactive communication? Client satisfaction. No. Case in point, clients, former clients were complaining that they, they were complaining and suing that they weren't getting on their on their boat. OceanGate provided crew submersible support to expeditions designed to create unique experiences. Our fleet of submersible assets offer flexible options on our operation team. Team delivers a full suite and support of dive options. This is coming from their webpage, people. It's coming. This is their webpage that they took down for people that are just jumping on. They took this webpage down. I was able to scoop it up on the Wayback Machine. Wayback Machine. It's still there. So what is this? What is this? I'm going to click on and see. Here we go. It's working. It's spinning. Ding, ding, ding. What is this? Ocean Gate, about what we do, our subs, expeditions, news and media, gallery and shop. The Greater Farallones Survey Expedition. Shipwrecks, deep coral, and sponge communities in the National Marine Sanctuary. Ocean Gate, 
and Ocean Gate Foundation conducted the second phase of the Eye on the Sanctuary's tour with the expedition to the Greater Farallones Natural Marine Sanctuary near San Francisco, California. The goal of this week-long expedition was to use the five-man submersible Cyclops One to expand our collective understanding of the distribution and abundance of deep-sea fish, corals, and sponges within the sanctuary and to share the result of the expedition with students, educators, journalists, policy makers, and the general public. Mobilizing out of Moss Landing, California, the Ocean Gate Operations crew prepared Cyclops 1 and Miss Lars for dive operation and towed the vessels to Drake Bay. With the support vessel Quinn Delta, the operation crew stayed aboard the ship for the duration of the expedition and were joined by mission specialists and content experts who motored to the dive site each day from Fisherman's Wharf abroad the chart vessel El Dorado. Our content experts were volunteer naturalists referred by scientists at NOAA's Greater Farlonis National Marine Sanctuary. So this is some sort of project they were involved in in the San Francisco area, it looks like. And here was the dates. And you can, it uh, looks like they were at Alcatraz and San Francisco Bay, October 21st, 25th, 2016. What else we got? So we've been hearing, oh, look at this. Macklemore, the rapper, was on their vehicle, was in, in one of their Cyclops. You know, the rapper Macklemore from the Pacific Northwest, I guess he's a Seattle based rapper. Let's click on this and see what it says. I saw this earlier. I saw a picture of Macklemore and the CEO of this company. I wonder what Macklemore said, thinks. It's spinning, guys. I'll get it in a minute. <sighs> Macklemore, look. They got Macklemore on their webpage. They're self promoting Macklemore, or Macklemore's self promoting themselves. Six Gill Shark Survey, Elliott Bay. June 22nd, 23rd, 2014. Elliott Bay. Working in partnership with the Ocean Gate Foundation and Discovery Channel's Daily Planet, Ocean Gate successfully launched and dove, and dove in Elliott Bay with a local rap singer and ocean advocate Ben Haggerty, better known as Macklemore. Our objective was to find the elusive six skill sharks that roam the deep waters in Puget Sound and fulfill a lifelong dream and ambition of Macklemore, a devoted shark enthusiast. This was more than just another dive in the ocean. It was a unique opportunity to work closely with Discovery Channel's Daily Planet as they documented the entire expedition for a feature presentation on Shark Week that aired August 11, 2014. The dive site is located at a depth of 400 feet and less than one-fourth a mile from shore just off the waterfront in Elliott Bay. This location provided the submersible and her crew a ter terrific venue to launch from and to move or, maneuver to the dive site in a short time. So it looks like they worked with Macklemore on this project. They featured Macklemore, the rapper. Well, thank God Macklemore wasn't on this ship, right? Or on this submarine. Oh, look. They got a list of their subs. Titan, this is the one. This is the one that imploded. Then they have one that only goes 500 meters. They have another one that only goes 305 meters. So let's, let's go on the Titan and see what the Titan says. They call them our subs. Here it is. Ocean Gate. This is their Titan. This is the one. Look at this thing. What's your thoughts when you see this? Here we go. What does this say? This is what they advertise their Titan as. The Titan. 
The five-person submersible, 4,000 meters. Titan is a Cyclops-class manned submersible designed to take five people to the depths of 4,000 meters, 13,123 feet, for site survey and inspection, research and data collection, film and media production, and deep sea testing of hardware and software. Deep sea testing of hardware and software. That's what it says right here. Through the innovative use of modern materials, Titan is lighter in weight and more cost efficient to mobilize than any other deep diving submersible. A combination of groundbreaking engineering and off-the-shelf technology gives Titan a unique advantage over other diving, deep diving subs. The pro proprietary real-time whole health monitoring, RTM, systems provide an unparalleled safety feature that accesses the integrity of the hole throughout every dive. Are you reading this, people? They're talking about this real-time whole health monitoring system provides an unparalleled safety feature that assures the integrity of the hole throughout every dive. The use of the shelf components help to streamline the construction and makes it simple to operate and replace parts in the field. Paired with a patented integrated launch and recovery platform, Titan is easy to operate in varying sea states using a local a proper, uh, um, appropriately sized ship for the project. In coastal waters, this means we do not need a large support ship with a crane or A-frame. The most significant innovation is the proprietary real-time whole health monitoring RTM system. Titan is the only man submersible to employ an integrated real-time health monitoring system. Utilizing co-located acoustic sensors and strain gauges throughout the pressure boundary the RTM system makes it possible to analyze the effects of changing pressure on the vessel as the submersible dive dives deeper and accuracy as assesses, assesses the integrity of the structure. This onboard health analysis monitoring system provides early warning detection for a pilot with enough time to arrest the descent and safely return to the surface. You're hearing that people screenshot this. It's saying it has systems to prevent. It's saying it has pressure systems and they can have safely abort the mission. If there's danger and go back up. Development and innovation. Proper Cyclops was born out of the Ocean Gate appreciation for the complexity of subsea environments and the need for a diverse set of tools and technology to address operational requirements below 500 meters. Through strategic partnerships, Ocean Gate applies the latest advances in material science and technology to meet the challenges faced in deep sea exploration. With the majority of the ocean seabed still unexplored and as a commercial and scientific entities continue to expand initiatives to access potential resources, OceanGate satisfies the demand for a practical subsea vestibles, vessels capable of efficiently accessing these resources. And here's the specs of this thing. Titan goes down 4,000 4, meters. Capacity, five persons. Pressure vessel material, carbon fiber and titanium. It is 22 feet by nine 
8.2 feet by 8.3 feet high. It's only 8 feet high. This is why people were sitting down on there. It's 10,000 pounds. Payload, 1,500 pounds. Speed, 3 knots. Propulsion, 4 interspace 1002 electronic electric thrusters. Life support, 96 hours for 5 crew. Subsea image imaging. This is uh, integrated technology. Subsea imaging, 4K ray fin camera. Teledyne, 2D sonar. 40,000 lumis of external light. 2G robotics laser scanner, INS USBL. Real-time whole health monitoring system. I don't know what that is, but that has my curiosity. Particularly since it's known that the sub imploded. Somebody said they could have made it if they did not implode. What is real-time whole health monitoring system? What type of technology is this? Googling it right now, people. We're going to find out what this is. Dude, I'm so curious about this company. I'm so curious about the technology of this device that was used. Only eight feet high? Yeah, they, they, they got rid of their webpage. It was up a couple days ago. What? What? Why are they doing that? People that do that do it for a reason. It's not like their 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 web page just went down by error. I doubt that. I think there's something more more to this that they don't want people to see how they operate. I really do. Can we agree or disagree on that? Why would that? Why do you think their web page went down? Why do you think their web page went down? Look at this. Hiding the truth, someone says. I don't know, man. Does that thing look safe enough to go two miles down? Hiding stuff from lawsuits. Lawsuits and liability, DC111 says. No, I wouldn't be going on this. They got a lot of pictures on their site. That does not, I mean, that just looks like a disaster waiting to happen. I really do think there's going to be liabilities, lawsuits, claims. Real-time hole monitoring is a system that keeps track of the condition of the outside shell of the sub. But at those depths, a problem can kill you before you even know there's a problem. Yeah. Thank you, Grizz. 3245. Thank you. Like, before you know there's a problem, it's too late. But they claim on their site, they claimed that they have systems to detect if there's a problem so it can safely return to the surface. How can that be? If there's a problem and it implodes or there's a leak or something, how are you going to safely get back to the top in time? So I think that's a little bit of uh, false. I think that's false advertising. Pressure alone is dangerous. Look at all these pictures. Let me show you all these pictures. There's pictures on their website. That's no longer here, by the way, for people that are just jumping on. This web page is no longer in existence. They took it down, or somebody took it down. Look, they even got their own little Ocean Gate boat. It says Ocean Gate. Who are these Ocean Gate people? Well, we've seen that picture. What is this? What is this thing? Maybe if I click on it, then it will blow it up. It looks like it might blow up. Bear with me. There's all kinds of things here. Look at that. Got that. 
up that. Just guys like a point. Like a... There's the crew inside. I don't know, people. I don't know. Cyclops crew get a view of the Gulf of Mexico from a depth of 457 meters. Looks like a little, like, space capsule, man. Look at this. Look at this, people. Look at that. Look at that going down there. You will go in there? It's like a little bubble. Uh, look, here's some information here. One of the two control spears that house Cyclops electronics outside the pressure hole. Anyone know what this means? Underwater coffin to me, someone said. Man, that's crazy, isn't it? And look at this. It just looks like, I mean, is this cheaply made? I mean, is that... That's it. That's the height. You're in there. A submersible pilot performs a pre-dive check of life support and communication systems. Cyclops pilot uses 2D sonar images to safely navigate around submerged objects. Well, you know, you, you know if they made it down to the Titanic, that's what you would need so you don't hit the Titanic in this tin can. Right? ATS News said made it down on less than 40 trips. Integrity of it just seemed cheap. Here's another one. I don't know, people. I've never seen these pictures prior. And this is the first time me seeing these pictures. This is on their own webpage, but they don't have the webpage up for people that are just jumping in. Look at that one. Man, I don't know, man. You gonna take that thing two miles down in the water? This little bubble that you can't even really stand up in? It was made out of titanium. Five grown men in a space where they couldn't stand up more without touching one another while crossed legs. Will they get their money back? Great question. This one. $200,000 to implode. I'm reading you guys' comments. Nope. Everyone's saying, nope, wouldn't go on this thing. It's like a needle in the haystack out there in the water, right? How many of these water vehicles mount, man, uh, ma um, Vehicles manufactured. Why no chaser or supporter vessel assisting? That's right. You know, you would think that they would have an, an emergency one, a replica emergency one, to kind of assist it and guide it or help in case of emergency. What do you have in a case of emergency? Like, what is plan? What is their plan and plan of execution? Like, if there was a May Day, what is their plan of execution? If something bad happens when they're down there, who's going to help them when they're out in the middle of the Atlantic and they just have a boat and no other type of replica or nothing else to help them? I'm, I'm just trying to process this and understand this. I'm really generally concerned about this. I'm generally curious about this. Look, there's even more ones. Look at this one. 
Look at that thing. For the drone. Thank you, Janet M.E. I need to get a drone. I probably get a drone by the end of the year, for real. I need it for my uh, investigation stuff. I mean, that looks like just something, I don't know. It, it, it looks cute, right? It looks neat on the surface. But I don't think this is something you would want to go down that far in. No way. Wow, that pick looks so unsafe at the depths they go. Yeah, I mean, look. Plus, what happens, whatever this is, I mean, what proof is this if, if something hits it? Boom. Like, it's is this glass? What is this? What is this? Yeah, I mean, even if you got into a big fish that plowed, what about if a shark plowed into it or a whale or something plowed into this thing? Is this glass? Is this break, uh, unbreakable? What is this window? What is this thing? Seriously, is it glass? Plexiglass? Whale could swallow this thing. The plexiglass front. That's what as as one device. See, they don't want us to see this, people. They don't want us to see these pictures. They took down their web page for a reason. Because now they have the national spotlight on them. Cheap plastic. Cheap plastic. I mean, come on, people. Thanks for covering this, JLR. Happy to be a member. Uh, thank you. Uh, Vind Inquiries. Welcome to media. Thank you. But look at this stuff, man. I don't know, people. It just doesn't look safe to me. They didn't have it as a display at a park in Seattle. Oh, I would have loved to go see that thing. Five people can go in there. Look, that's three right there. Look at the space for three people. Imagine five people in there. Because all that, I don't think a person... They said something about going to the side there with a, with a sheet and somebody can use the bathroom at this like portable... Like a portable toilet. So the sub imploded days ago. Those poor crew members and the visitors there that passed away for what? This makes me terribly sad. It's just not safe, people. It's it's like, it's like I'm trying to think. In it's, it's like taking a motor scooter, a 50 cc motor scooter, and trying to drive it on the interstate. <laughs> like it just it doesn't. I'm going to the other web page here. These pictures are fascinating. I haven't seen some of these pictures. I haven't seen these, but the website is down. Let's see here. So they did something at Miami. They did a Miami expedition in 2012. Here are the projects they're claiming they're involved with. Here are the projects they're claiming they're involved with. Miss Link, thank you. Go to Google. Thank you. Here are some of the projects they're claiming they're involved with. The Salafish Sea Survey Expedition. The Greater Farallones Expedition in, in San Francisco 216. The Andrea Doria Survey Expedition in June of 2016. The Flower Banks expedition in the Gulf of Mexico August of 215 here's the one with Macklemore look at this the CEOs with Macklemore man there he is Stockton Rush with Macklemore Macklemore is acting cool coming out of that cubby hole look at Macklemore 
It's partying like the ceiling can't touch us. The ceiling can't touch us. Six-gill shark expedition. Seattle, Washington, July 2014. Here's another one. The A.J. Goodard Expedition, June 2010. Here's another one. Lionfish Dive Operations, Florida, June 2013. JLR, would you watch a video called Bonding the Titanium Ring in the Carbon Fiber Hall? I will do that. Thank you, Ocean Gate Deep Sea Disaster. I'm going to go check that out later on. I'm trying to do research on this stuff for my own curiosity. Lionfish Summit and Tasting. Here's another one they were involved with, the Miami Expedition. So it looks like they've done expeditions, right? But in way, way, way less water, right? Like a quarter mile deep water at the most, right? Nothing at the depths of two and a half miles, like two and a half miles. And here's the thing is, if you look at the specs of this Titan, it's saying it has a maximum capacity of 13,123 feet. Well, the Titanic is 12,500 feet. I'm sure there's other crevices that go even deeper. But it's like you have an engine of a car. And you know your car can go 140, 160. Do you push it all the way to the max? Do you push the speed limit? But this is a little bit different. This is with depths in regards to pressure. So if their capability goes 13,123 feet, they are pretty much pushing it to the max. Pedal to the metal at pressure. But as others have pointed out in this chat, that wasn't the first rodeo for them going down there. Someone said 36, uh, the gentleman in here that got great insight, I'm going to find your name. Where are you at? You know who you are. You're in here. As one divided, we fall, said in my last, and as one divided, we fall, seems like knows a lot about specs and, and pressure distances and whatnot. Very smart. And as one divided we fall, it said in this chat, 36 times, 36 times back and forth this thing went. And just imagine the amount of pressure going down each time and going back up. Pressure, pressure, pressure. Less pressure, less pressure, less pressure, less pressure. Pressure, pressure, pressure. Less pressure, less pressure, less pressure. And on and on and on. How often does it get maintenance in between? It had to put a huge amount of stress on this device. JLR, you were right. Stock, Stockton Rush seems like a schemer. He does. Just the way he talks, he wants to be some sort of re revolution. He even used the word revolutionary. He wants to be a revolutionist innovator who claims that he breaks the rules. Claims that he breaks the rules. And he says that's sometimes needed. He wanted to be the pioneer of, of water exploration. He wanted to be the guy. He wanted to be the Bill Gates of the water. He wanted to be the John Glenn of the water. John Glenn space guy. You know what I mean? That was his vision. Now, I can't fault a visionary. And they probably done lots of things. And they maybe done this 36 times. But again, you have, like, there's no safety here. You had people complaining about money. You had his own people got fired or left the company because they were, we'll call it whistleblowing. We'll call it whistleblowing. People from his own company were yelling out, this is not safe. There's a lot of risks to this. Yet he ignored. Deliberate indifference. Ignored. Now the CEO was brave enough to go on the thing himself. I'm going to go back to, see, here's what I'm going to do. You can go to the Wayback Machine. You can go by years. Let me, let me take you out of here a minute. Give me one second. I'm going to, I'm going to utilize that Wayback Machine. It's great. If people don't know what the Wayback Machine is, it's this right here. You can Google it. 
So this is a trick you can do. Whenever you go to like a web page and the web page is down, if the web page is ever down, you can click on the Wayback Machine, which is a service that archives old sites. And usually if the website is down, the old, you know, it's it's archived through them and you can still have access to their stuff that's taken down. I love the tool. I do it a lot. Or get information off someone's old site. So for instance, I just put an ocean gate here in the Wayback Machine here and then it will load. And then it tells you the activity, it tells you all the activity. And you see a lot of activity on their webpage, which is down in 2021, 2022, and 2023. It's see the last time. So it looks like June 22nd, they might've took it down today. Looks like the last activity on this page was, here, we'll just go on it and see. Because it's not up anymore. Like I said, if you go to OceanGate.com just regularly, it's not up. They took the site down. So maybe they took it down today. Maybe they took it down today. So, that is our lesson for the day. If you want to do research on this company, check it out. Any lawyers out there that expect to sue the company, this would be your route because this stuff here from the old pages will never go away. They could take it down, but it's forever archived. The internet doesn't lie. That's what they say. Once it's on the internet, it is literally on the internet forever. No matter if they take it down, it is archived somewhere. So, you know, is there a liability with this company? Look, see what I'm saying? Like, look. They're advertising Titanic Survey Expedition. Next mission, 2023. Learn more. We're going to learn more. Explore the world's most famous shipwreck. Join the Titanic expedition. 95% of the Earth's ocean is unexplored. You can change that. They put this three days ago. Azores expedition. So they have an upcoming expedition, they claim, at the Azores. Oh, I don't think that's going to be happening, right? But let's click here and see what we can learn more about this. Limited space available. Let's see who signs up for this kind of thing. Here we go. Here's their advertisement for this trip. Titanic Expedition. Explore the Titanic. Eight days, seven nights, May 2023 through June 2023. So this was it. This was it. This is their advertisement. Look at this. Max people, six per week. Oh, so what are they doing? Like putting multiple trips? Minimal age, 17. Look at that. Wi-Fi available. Deep ocean. It says, follow in Jacques Castaneo's footsteps and become an underwater explorer, beginning with a dive to the wreck of the RMS Titanic. This is your chance to step outside of everyday life and discover something truly extraordinary. Become one of the few to see the Titanic with your own eyes. Intrepid travels, travelers will sail from the Atlantic coast of Canada for an eight-day expedition to dive on the iconic wreck that lies 380 miles offshore and 3,800 meters below the surface. You, you dive will provide not only a thrilling and unique travel experience, but also help the scientific community learn more about the wreck and the deep ocean environment. 
Every dive also has a scientific objective, and you can learn more about the research, research we support here. So it says, the parks, this is the advertisement for what they went on. Interesting that they took this down. St. John's, Newfoundland, Canada, Departures, 2023 Expedition, currently underway. Mission 1, June 12th to the 20th. Mission 2, June 21st through the 29th. Bedroom, Statesman. Prices include one submersible dive, private accommodations, all required training, expedition gear, all meals while on board. Prices ex exclude airfare and travel, hotels and meals before departure, travel or personal insurance. The expedition experience. Here's the itinerary. Wow, this is interesting. Matter of fact, I'm just going to spin this around and read this to you. You got some good stuff here, people. You got some stuff that is not really being reported out there about their itinerary. On day one, you go to St. John's, Newfoundland, Canada. Arrive in the seaside city of St. John's to meet your expedition crew and board the vessel that will take you to the wreck of the Titanic. You're, familiar, uh, you're familiarized yourself with the life of on a wrecking vessel as we begin the 200 or we begin the 400 nautical mile journey to the wreck site that's day one day two welcome to the wild north atlantic ocean as we continue to stream out to the dive site you'll learn more about the days ahead and get to know the rest of the expedition crew more the expedition leader will go over important safety information and dive day logistics and our science team and content experts will help you prepare for what you may discover on your dive. It will be wise to make it an early night. Dive days begin bright and early, and we may be diving as soon as day three. Here we go. Day three dip through day seven. Depending on the sea state, diving could begin as early as day three. On a dive day, we will begin with the final dive checks on the back deck before heading out to a bridge for a pre dive meeting then you will incline inside the titan ocean gates five person submersible to begin the dive those who are not diving the first day will be incorporated into other areas of dive ops like driving the dinghy assisting the expedition manager collecting media or simply enjoying watching the team work together to do something truly unique once the submersible is launched, you will begin to see alien-like life forms whiz by the viewpoint as you sink deeper and deeper into the ocean. Ooh. The descent takes approximately two hours, but it feels like the blink of an eye. You may assist the pilot with communications and tracking, take notes for the science team about what you see outside of the viewpoint, watch a movie, or eat lunch. There is a private toilet at the front of the sub if nature calls soon you will arrive at the deck and after some navigating across the seafloor and debris field finally see what you've been waiting for the rms titanic the content expert on board will point out key features be they of the wreck itself or the life that calls this corner of the ocean home enjoy hours of exploring the wreck and debris field before making the two hour ascent to the surface. So you're down there for hours. You're down there for hours. Once on the deck, you'll be welcomed back by the expedition crew and be able to share the story of your incredible accomplishment. <sighs> on the days you're not diving, you may be part of the dive ops crew for the other dive team. Review underwater footage from your dive, chat with experts about the dive's discoveries sit in the sun on the top deck, watch a pod of whales swim by the ship, drive a dinghy in the wild North Atlantic. Non-diving days are just as busy as diving days. We'll begin to stream back to St. John's on day seven. Day eight. 
Newfoundland, Canada. Signal Hill is the first thing you see as we motor into St. John's. Take a moment to reflect on, on all that you have accomplished. You're one of less than 300 people in history who have done, who have dove to the world's most famous shipwreck. You'll leave the vessel with a collection of media from the dives and an amazing adventure to share when you get back home. Here are the peoples of contact. Content experts who may join you on your expedition. Isn't this the one of the guys that was on the, um, yeah. This is one of the guys that perished. P.H. Nargeliot, and if I'm not saying his name I pro, uh, right, I'm pro, I apologize, is a renowned Titanic expert having led six expeditions to the Titanic wreck site and lectured at numerous Titanic exhibitions around the world. He's known as the Titanic's greatest explorer. He was on there. He was on there. David Concannon. David Concannon has over 25 years of exploration, exploration leadership, including six expeditions to the Titanic, the Apollo F-1 search and recovery project, two Mount Everest expeditions, and expeditions to the HMHS Britannic and on the German battleship Bismarck. Rory Golden, Titanic dive veteran and expert with 44 years of dive experience around the globe, including Titanic expeditions in 2020 or 2000, 2005, 2021, and 2022. Dr. Scott Parazinski, Parazinski a highly decorated physician astronaut and tech CEO recently induced, uh, inducted into the U.S. Astronaut Hall of Fame. He flew five space shuttle missions and conducted seven spacewalks. Dr. Steve Ross. Steve Ross is a research professor at the Center for Marine Science at the University of North Carolina, Wilmington. He has served as chief scientist on numerous cruises, including those using submersibles. Its current work involves community assessment of unique deep water habitats. habitats. He holds a PhD from North Carolina State University. Dr. Bridget Buxton. Dr. Bridget Buxton is an underwater archaeologist and historian based at the University of Rhode Island and an archaeological advisor to Ocean Gate Foundation. In addition to Ocean Gate's Titanic and Atlantic expedition, she is planning future archaeological adventures in Israel, Croatia, Portugal, and the Indian Ocean. Okay, so what do we got here? That looks like that's the CEO, right? This thing keeps moving. I don't know, people. I don't know. This was severe false advertising. This little thing going right into the water like that. There it is. I don't know, people. What do you think? Is that a wrench? What are they doing on it? This is pictures coming out of it. There it is. There's the bow of the Titanic. I don't know, people. Check out how they seal you into the vessel. Yeah, I'm going to have to do some research on this. 
but that's it. That's that's some information about that trip. It looks like it was like a seven day trip. And it looks like they were planning on doing two. Fascinating. The more you know. The more you know. I'm looking to see if there's more pictures. They actually, nah. Here's what they advertised the last couple years. Here's what they advertised the last couple years. Multi-year survey of the wreck. 2021 Titanic expedition. During the summer of 2021, a multidisciplinary expedition team conducted the first phase of a multi-year series of crude submersible dives to explore and document the condition of the RMS Titanic in portions of the debris field. This inaugural phase and series of dives, including experts, this is new. This is when they started. This is when they started going to the Titanic. Only two years ago, people. This inaugural phase and series of dives, including experts in marine biology, nautical archaeology, marine ecology, and Titanic history. The team succeeded in capturing thousands of images of the bow section, stern section, and portions of the massive debris field. This data is a great resource for assessing changes in the condition of the site and continue to provide a solid foundation for planning future dives and surveys. This was the 2022 expedition. Following the success of the 2021 Titanic expedition, the team returned to the site in the summer of 2022 to continue exploring and documenting the condition of the historic shipwreck and debris field. Our sponsored science team utilized advanced and time-tested techniques to gather data for future analysis. An array of 4K and 5K and 8K cameras 2D sonar scanners, direct observation, and grid mapping are just some of the techniques and equipment that the team utilized during each of the dives that lasted up to 10 hours. The team also conducted the first ever environmental DNA sampling of the site to help determine the presence of species around the wreck by partnering, partnering with eDNA Tech. And then the 2023 expedition. The science and expedition teams are preparing equipment, research plants, and resources to return to Titanic in May and June of 2023. The multidisciplinary team will continue their survey efforts that begin in phase one and phase two. So they've only been doing this for, this is the third season. This is the third season. Ocean Deep. OMG. W O W. Wow. Let me know what you think, guys. You know, I'm digging into this company. I thought I would share what's on their website. I think I think we've provided some relevant information. I think I did. I've provided something to you guys that you might not have been aware of. But go check out yourself and let me know what you think. If you see something, comment in here so we all can see and hear and see your comments. But yeah. They took their website down. The company's in shambles. This industry's over. The industry's over. Let's be real. They're not going to allow someone else to do it. No one else would do it because all eyes and microscope is going to be on them. It's like, good work, man. Much appreciated. Bobby Swain, thank you. Thank you, Bobby. And thank you for the support. Thank you for guiding me. Bobby Swain was my tour guide in Delphi, Indiana. But yeah, looking into this company, what happened here? I'll be coming back more um, soon. Walt Disney has more safety precautions than this thing. I agree. I concur. How did this happen? Now I want to know what it happened. Like, when did it implode? Thank you, JLR. Good job, JLR. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. We'll see if that, that website's going to be gone. They're never going to bring that back. I'll dig deeper. 
digging deeper. We'll talk soon. God bless everyone. Have a great day. Have a great Thursday. Tomorrow's Friday, end of the week. Be safe, everyone. 250K to take a voyage underwater. Someone will take own the uh, someone will take own the business opportunity for sure. Might be true. Might pass the, if they have a patent or whatnot, then other people might do it. But I think it's going to be regulated down the line. But be well. Have a great day, guys.